Hi, it's Cindy from Turner Style. I'm going to be doing a haul for you. So I want to be doing these hauls a little more regularly. And that way the videos will be less long and I'll be able to keep things a bit more current than doing monthly or big collective hauls. So this is a bi-weekly haul, so it's everything I've bought in the last two weeks. I will be including separately a thrifting haul video because I have all of this stuff and I want to put it into outfits and stuff for you. I'm going to start off with Urban Outfitters and I got two of their just tumbler. This one is Los Polos Hermanos and this one is the Heisenberg. And if you uh, watch Breaking Bad, you know what these are. They are from the TV show. They have these on offer right now. I think they are either two for 10 or two for 12. Um, and I just basically bought them because I love Breaking Bad and next week is the premiere so I wanted to have some fun glasses to uh, have either my iced coffees or just a drink out of um, while I'm watching the show and just to get into the spirit of it all. I'm going to put on this amazing dress that I love from Urban that I bought so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and if you watch my book review video which um, went up just recently, I am wearing this dress in that video as well. I'll step back. This dress is very short. It's meant to be, I think, more of a tunic than a dress, but I bought it in a size medium so that I could wear it as a little um, baby doll dress. I love the arms on it. I feel like this is super flattering, and I love the neckline also. I think it's really, really nice and, again, very flattering. Um, I would definitely wear sort of a more solid bra underneath or a bralette. Um, these ones are great. These are from Airy, and I'm obsessed with them. I have them in, like, every color. Um, this is the older style and the newer style, which I just bought one of these this week, um, has like a racer back. So I love these and they're great to wear underneath this dress because it is a little bit sheer. You don't notice it as much because of the pattern, but the plain ones that Urban has are really sheer. They're not as nice in my opinion, but um, the floral one is really, really cute. And the shorts, again, it's to help with the sheerness, but also to help with the shortness of it because it's very floaty, like you can see. Um, and it's really easy for it to fly up. So if you're going to wear it out and about, I would definitely wear shorts. Um, I like the longer ones from Forever 21 because they're inexpensive. And also because, you know, it's lo they're longer. So you can kind of notice them more. Which I feel like if you're wearing a, sh a dress that's borderline too short, at least you're like admitting that you know. <laughs> but I've worn this dress already three times and I bought it two weeks ago. If I didn't mention it, it was $44. I'm going to go on to Target. And I bought this. A uh, pair of Sam Crow Sense of Anarchy boxers. They're like men's boxers, but I just got a size small. And you can see they have like SOA logo and some like anarchy and peace signs. And I just think they're really cute. I love Sense of Anarchy. I love Charlie Hunnan. And I just wear them to sleep. So they're really comfy. And I think they were like, I don't know, maybe like $10 or $15. Speaking of Charlie, I bought this British GQ style magazine because he's on it. Oh my god. Uh, I wasn't going to buy this because it was like $16, but I saw Pacific Rim and I just couldn't resist. After I saw that, I was like, I'm really Charlie obsessed now. I love that movie so much. And um, on top of having that uh, interview in it and photo shoot, it also has a really great interview with Kit Harington from Game of Thrones and also um, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad who I love. I love Jesse. He's my favorite. And um, these are all shot by Terry Richardson, who I follow his blog on Tumblr. And um, I've seen these photo shoots come up on his Tumblr, and I've been obsessed with them, and they were all in this magazine. So once I realized that I had all of those um, photo shoots and interviews, I thought it was worth the money. Moving on to the rest of the books that I bought at Chapters. I got, um, I mentioned these again in my book review video, but I got Silverborn by Patricia Briggs. It's the Mercy Thompson novel, and I got the first in the Alpha Omega series, which is Cry Wolf of hers, um, just on paperback. So I've already read this one. It's so good. I also got a really cute uh, day planner. This is for August until... December of 2014. And it's just got this gorgeous little flower and it says today is day one. And it's really like a motivational, really beautiful um, planner. It has like gorgeous little flowers and like little um, aspirational messages, I guess. And it's organized really well. Like it has like places to write down goals. It has like places to write down like books you want to read. And um, it's set up by the week like that. And also, uh, it has the monthly 
um, grid in the front and it was $15. I also bought uh, two sort of manifesting your subconscious power books. Um, I got The Power of, of Your Subconscious Mind. It is by Joseph Murray. Um, a girl at, at work sort of swears by this book, so and I, I know my boyfriend loves like all quantum physics and like the secret type books as well, so I decided to get one for myself and try to uh, change my way of thinking a little bit. And hopefully this book helps me do that. And I also got um, Crystals to Empower You. It's on the same lines, but it's helping you manifest with crystals and harnessing their ancient power. And I really believe that crystals can have some uh, power over the way you feel and your energy. It's not so much magic um, as it is just harnessing your energy, focusing your energy, and using the crystals to kind of uh, amplify. I've only read a little bit of this one so far, but it seems super interesting and I'm really excited to try some of the um, manifesting rituals and I need to go buy a bunch of crystals now. I bought um, four or five books on my e-reader as well. I bought Austin Land, Rogue Touch, Shadow of Night, the Night Gwen Stacy Died and the Pacific Rim. All of these ones I could get on my promos with my promo codes. Not all the books on Kobo you can use promo codes for, which is really annoying. Like most of the ones I've been wanting to read, I couldn't. So these are the only ones that I could. Well, they're all kind of superhero, superhero-esque. Um, Rogue Touch is a book about the X-Men Rogue and uh, sort of when she was younger. It's this new series that Marvel's put out for women. The Night Gwen Stacy Died is sort of intertwined with the Spider-Man story, but it is a novel. And then Pacific Rim, it's just a um, novelization of the movie, but it's written by Guillermo del Toro, who wrote the movie and directed the movie. So I feel like it's not going to be cheesy. It probably will just give me more insight on his on the world he created and the characters he created. And because it was an action film, I kind of wanted more, more about the characters. So I'm excited to read that. Shadow of Night is a um, follow-up to Discovery of Witches, which I loved and uh, it's the second book in that series. And then Austin Land is going to be in a movie with Carrie Russell and uh, it's about a girl who goes to a Jane Austen theme park to try to get over her Darcy obsession and um, of course hilarity ensues. And I'm a huge Austenite so I was excited to read that one as well. So moving on to jewelry, I got this set of rings. Um, it has a midi ring that's a little cross and a midi ring that is just um, a very thin band and then it has a thick band midi ring as well. And the little cross one is super cute because it has like a little hinge which I think is adorable. Um, this set is from Little Burgundy. It's a shoe store here in Canada and it was $8 for the three which I think is amazing. And I'm just wearing them with this um, little, I guess it's sort of a, a signet ring. Um, this is a real gold ring and same with this little knot one that my mom got me from Portugal and they were pretty expensive so and they're a little bit loose so I like to wear the smaller ones on top and that helps to ensure that they won't fall off because I've lost two midi rings already um, with them falling off and you can see with this one like it's very loose but it's not going to go anywhere because of that one holding it so it's a great um, tip if you have some looser midi rings. Another set of rings I got is from American Eagle they are a set of like diamond crystal kind of rings and I just really love the middle one a lot so I just bought the set and I think it was around ten dollars for the set and and you can stack them like this or you can wear them individually I just think they're really cool looking my last piece of jewelry are these earrings from forever 21 they are still on the website they're just little black hearts with crosses and if you see them on they're pretty big which I like um, they remind me of my Tiffany's hearts that I have and they were, I think, $4, so really good deal. Another thing from Chapters, I got these amazing candles. This one is White Pumpkin, and it's just in these gorgeous silver containers, which glow really beautifully when you light them. White Pumpkin kind of smells like vanilla-y and fall-like. And then the Kodo Wood, I guess that's how you pronounce that. This one just smells like a little bit like a foresty and just gorgeous. I love this scent. Um, it's much more subtle than the other one, um, but again in that gorgeous silvery container. So These were $8 each. I'll show you my favorite purchase of the last few weeks, and that is the Minnetonka Wren Moccasins. This is a collaboration that just came out. They're limited edition, and I got the black ones. They look like this. They're black leather with a gold thunderbird. They also come in um, nude, brown and 
cognac-y like reddish brown they're incredibly well made they have this great rubber sole and i bought the terry insoles with them just so that i could wash them and keep them nicer and also these are a tiny bit big so um that helped with it and these were a hundred dollars the insoles i think were like seven dollars and they're from little burgundy but so gorgeous i've been dying for these since i saw them in teen vogue and elle magazine so so psyched Okay, so my last two pieces are just some tops that I've picked up. This is a little cropped uh, tank top that I got from American Eagle. It was on sale. Um, I got it in a size small. I just think it's the perfect length to wear with high-waisted stuffs because I don't really like to tuck things into high-waisted um, items. I might just like tuck in the front like that, but I don't like to tuck in things all the way around. So I like to get stuff a little shorter, but it's still long enough that it doesn't like show my whole stomach because I don't like that look. So this just shows a tiny little bit. Um, if I like raise my arms, otherwise it covers. I have a little um, pocket, which is cute, and it uh, fits really well. So that's from American Eagle, and I think it was probably in like the 10 or $15 range. I got this amazing sweatshirt from Forever 21. It's a zombie on it. And it just reminds me of the cranberries, which it should probably remind me of like Walking Dead, but it reminds me of the cranberries um, and their song Zombie. And it was 1880 Canadian. And this thing is so freaking soft. I'm like obsessed with it. I'll just put it on for you. And again, it's a cropped sweatshirt so it does show like a little bit of tummy but not too much and i think it's just really cute for going into fall or like colder summer nights and i love it i just love how soft it is and i think it looks adorable um it is new and they have it on the website and they also have one that's white that says monster but i really love this gray um, material so i love that um and then my last piece i'll just throw on for you hold on Okay, so my last piece are just these shorty overalls, as you can see, um, that I got at uh, Bridge and Bordeaux, which is a vintage store here in Toronto on Ossington and Dundas. They were $40. They're fitted without being tight, so that's what they look like. And then you can do up the second one if you want, like that. Okay, so definitely... Um, Check out my thrifting haul. It's coming up. I'll see you guys soon, and I hope you liked this um, bi-weekly, weekly haul idea. So leave your comments, questions, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.